So this video is going to show you the quickest and easiest way of setting up Wikitude. So what you're going to have is you're going to have your mobile device and then we're going to have some files on a web server somewhere. And then the first option you've got is being able to download the Wikitube app itself. Then you can create a developer account. And using that developer account will allow you to log into the developer section of the app. And then you'll be able to point at the files that you've got hosted on a web server and load them up. All right, but that's only your first option. The second option is to go to the Wikitude website and choose to download the SDK. Now this option is only going to work if you're using Android, but in that folder you'll find an APK file, which is essentially a definition of an app. You can put that on your device and you can use that to directly load some files from a web server. So if you want to take that second option, this is where you're going to go. So you go to the downloads area, Remember, this is only going to work for Android, so we're going to choose the JavaScript API. Choose to download that. So it's quite large, but if you want to make uh, your own Android apps as well, you can use those files for that. When you download anything, you'll be given this option to create a developer account. And you're probably going to want to do that to get in the forums, create your own target images, things like that. So we've downloaded it. We look in the folder, look in the examples. SDK examples, and there's your APK, right? So you just copy that into your mobile device, run it from there, and it will install. So what files are we going to load from the web server? Well, in a future video, I'll show you how to create your own. But to begin with, we can just use the SDK examples which you can get from Wikitude's GitHub site. So the benefit of using these is they're, they're tested, you know they work. If you can get these running, it means everything's set up perfectly. So we want SDK example or samples. Lots of different options here. Lots of examples of different things you can do from 3D objects, animations, all that sort of stuff. So just download the full zip package. Okay, and you're going to want them all, so you may as well extract them all. There you go, just follow this through. So, using Wikitude this way, it's all web technology. So if we look in one of the folders, we can see index, HTML files, CSS, JavaScript, all that sort of stuff. So it's going to go on a web server. If you've got one set up, perfect. If not, you can use a free one, like this is triple zero web host. Lots of other examples out there. To put your files on, you can normally find this section for FTP details. That's an easy way of getting your files on. But I'm going to assume you don't have FTP software and just go through the file manager. Okay, I'm going to log in again. It's always better to just make up a completely new password for these sites. I've got no suspicions against triple zero web posts, but just on the safe side, make up something new. So we need to put it in the public HTML folder so it's visible on the internet. And let's create ourselves a new directory just to store this first example. So we can call it Wikitude Test. Okay, let's click on the tick. Okay, I'm going back. So I'll go into that folder. Now we're going to upload our files. All right, if we can do them one at a time if we wanted to. But if we look over on this side, we can see the option to upload a zip file. That'll let us pull up all the files in one go. So we can select our files, right click. Well, I don't think you can right click on a file. We have to right click on a folder. Let's see. There we go. And we've got send to compress zip folder. That's how we can put it all together in one zip file. You can rename it if we want, it doesn't really matter, but it makes more sense if it's got a name like that rather than just JS. So we're back on our server, browse, go and find that zip file. There it is, that open. Okay, let's click on the tick. And there it is, they've all come up. Uh, do we click it again? I don't think we do. Anyway, should all be there now. So if we go back, there we see there's all our files. Okay, that's what we're going to point the app to. So the first sample, that's the one we've uploaded. That needs a target image to point at. So we can find that in the documentation, in the samples area, 
and we can see the pictures. All right? Even if you're using the iOS, you can load them up from here. It doesn't really matter. That's the image we're going to point at. So let's see it in action. So this uses the Wikitude app. So it's the first option that I showed you where we log into a developer area. So let's wait for the app to start. Here's our menu in the top left. Click on that. Choose developer. So I've already logged in, so it'll skip that step. And just go straight to the section where you can put in a URL that you want to load. So we put in the website, the folder name, and then just to be certain, we'll finish it off with the file index.html. And let's go ahead and launch that. And the good thing about the samples as well, they contain this strip across the top so you know the correct files loaded and it tells you what you need to point at. So there's a target image, you could print it out, it works off the screen just as well. And there we go, there's your augmented reality with Wikitude.